that when we have abandoned a sunnah as we have because there's money in the Quran and there's money in the sunnah and the money in the Quran and the money in the sunnah is the gold dinar and silver dirham hmm? and when there was a shortage of dinars and dirhams in the market then they would use articles of food consumption food which were in abundant supply in the market and which had a shelf life they were durable and so in Medina they would use dates as money dates there's a famous hadith you must have heard about it where Bilal radiallahu ta'ala who came to the Prophet والسلام, and offered him some dates and the Prophet والسلام, looked at the dates and he says Bilal these are very fine quality dates where did you get them and Bilal radiallahu ta'ala who said O Messenger of Allah I had two kilograms would you allow me to use the word kilograms I had two kilograms the Arabic is Sa'a I had two kilograms of inferior quality dates and I exchanged them for this one kilogram of superior quality dates if the inferior quality dates were worth 10 ringgits per kilo the superior quality was worth 20 ringgits per kilo so the exchange was a fair exchange huh? you did some mathematics out here didn't you so 2 kilograms are 10 make 20 and that one is 20 so it's same value so I exchanged my 2 kilograms of inferior quality dates for this 1 kilogram of superior quality dates Bilal said the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam this is the essence of riba oh my gosh that's terrible riba riba is so bad the very last revelation of the Quran to come down Allah declared war on riba war Nabi Muhammad Islam cursed all four and said they're all equally guilty the one who takes riba the one who gives riba the one who records the transaction the two witnesses if you he said they're all equally guilty if you have sufficient intelligence to study for your exams and pass your exams here you better take some time and also study the subject of riba it could mean the difference between life of freedom and life of slavery hmm? Bilal, this is the essence of riba what you should have done was to sell the two kilograms of inferior quality dates take that money and buy the one kilogram of superior quality dates but a direct exchange of two for one in dates is haram it's riba why there's only one answer only one it is because dates were used as money animals were not used as money so you could exchange four camels for one no problem why because animals were not used as money but because dates were used as money if we allow this transaction one for two hmm, then the money lender could come along 
and lend you one and get two in return. See? He opened the door for the money lender. Huh? Dates are superior? The one kilogram was superior quality dates. The two kilograms were inferior quality dates. But these were dates and these were dates. Because dates were used as money when gold and silver were in short supply, because dates were used as money, you cannot have an unequal exchange because that would open the door for the money lender to lend on interest. Hmm? This is money in the Sunda. In addition to dates, this, the, men, the hadith mentions wheat and barley and salt. What will you do? Now that you've heard this lecture, now that you agree with me that this paper money is bogus and fraudulent and haram, now that you want to return to the sunnah that you've abandoned, you and I, and you are in Indonesia, in the island of Java, what would the Muslim youth do if he wants to recover the sunnah? and gold and silver are in short supply. The answer is that you would use rice. 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 Nasi. <laughs> Sudan? Somalia. Somalia. MashaAllah. I love Somalia. I was once a student in Switzerland. And I had to study French in the summer. Student of the Graduate Institute of International Studies in Geneva. So they sent us to Fribourg for the summer to learn French. And we stayed in a hostel, a Christian hostel. And every day we had to go for classes in French. There are lots of Muslim students from different parts of the world. Egypt, Tunisia, Turkey and so on. And there were two Somalis and myself, three, who would ask, what meat is this? What is this? What is that? And try to avoid haram. Only those two Somalis and myself. All the rest of the Muslim students ate whatever was there and drank whatever was there. <laughs> I love Somalia. I love Somalia. If we want to recover the Sunnah, and we in Indonesia, and we have a shortage of gold and silver coins, we would use rice as money. In other words, we will monetize our rice. Instead of selling the rice for this bogus Indonesian rupiah, we will use the rice as money to buy and to sell with the rice. The International Monetary Fund is going to be mad with us. The World Bank will be very angry with us. The Zionists will not be able to digest their food if we do this. Why? Because we're slipping out of their grasp by monetizing our rice and using rice as money. And if you're in Cuba, you know my neighbor, I'm from Trinidad. Cuba is just around the corner. And you know Fidel Castro doesn't smoke cigars anymore, you know that? No, he doesn't smoke cigars anymore. He's a cig cigars haram now. <laughs> so if you're in Cuba and you want to bring back the Sunnah money, and you have a shortage of gold and silver coins, you'd use, not tobacco, you'd use sugar as money. Hmm? My opinion is that we have to move to the countryside. 
And before we end, I have to tell you why I say the Muslim youth have to do it. Move to the countryside, out of the cities, out of the cities, into the countryside and build micro markets, small markets. And in those micro markets, you pro prohibit the use of this bogus money. Nobody will buy using that money. Nobody will sell for that money. No, not in this market. And you bring back dinar and dirham. In fact, you don't need dinar. It's all dirhams you'll be using. And if you have a shortage of dirhams, then you'd use like rice and flour and sugar and so on, wheat. <coughs> and this should be replicated all over the countryside, all over the countryside. And eventually the countryside will preserve Islam, while the city will be eating pork and drinking wine, as in Turkey, 